Hey everybody, Mark McComb here from Microchip Minutes. And in this episode, we're going to use the configurable logic cell or CLC peripheral to wake a microcontroller from low power sleep only when a combination of pin conditions have occurred. In order to reduce power consumption, it's very common to put the microcontroller into a lower power mode called sleep, which actually turns off the clocks on the device and stops the CPU from executing code. The microcontroller is kept asleep until a specific event triggers a wake up, indicating that something in the application requires attention. Now, this is usually done with some sort of pin state change, but there's a problem with this. What if we actually don't need the microcontroller to wake up and make changes to the system unless two or more conditions are present? Traditionally, this scenario is handled using a single pin change that wakes the CPU, which then checks to see if other inputs have changed, which constitute that specific condition. If they haven't, then the device makes no changes and then just simply goes back into sleep mode, having just wasted power unnecessarily by waking up and performing this check. There is a solution though using the CLC peripheral which allows you to combine different signals and perform logic operations on them. Since the CLC keeps running even in sleep mode and the device can be woken from a CLC interrupt, it's possible to conditionally wake the device from sleep. In this example, I'm going to use two conditions to wake the CPU on the PIC 16 f 18855 The first is when I press the push button on the MPLAB Express board, and the second is a transmission attempt detected on the receive pin of the UART peripheral. Each of these conditions alone aren't going to wake up the device, but if both are present at the same time, the device will wake. I have MPLAB Express open in my browser in which I've created a new project for the PIX16F 18855 and I have the code configurator open. That's all we need, so let's start the clock. I'm going to add the CLC peripheral from the device resources in the code configurator to the project resources by double clicking on it. Let's go ahead and connect the RC1 pin which is also connected to the receive line of the USART to the CLC in zero signal. Remember these microcontrollers have the peripheral pin select feature and this allows us to actually connect multiple peripherals to a single pin. I'll connect the RA5 pin which is also connected to the push button on the express board to the CLC in one signal. I'll highlight the CLC under project resources and this will open the easy setup. I'll select and or from the mode dropdown. We're going to use two OR gates here, one for each signal. If you look at the signal sources here, we actually have a bunch of options for both internal and external signals. So we have a lot of flexibility when combining signals and if we want to perform logic on them or even create custom peripherals. Here we'll connect the CLC in zero signal that is connected to our receive pin to the input of the top OR gate and we'll connect the CLC in one signal connecting push button on RA5 to the second OR gate. Last step, let's enable CLC interrupts on the output. We'll configure for rising interrupts, which means that when the CLC output goes from low to high, the interrupt will trigger. Since the push button pin will go low when the push button is pressed and the USART receive pin will transition from a high to a low whenever a connected device tries to transmit to the peripheral, I'm gonna go ahead and invert the outputs of the OR gates here. That's it for the code configurator, so we can go ahead and hit the generate button click OK. Inside of the main.c source file, I'm going to scroll down to the while one loop inside of our main function. I'm going to transmit a message to indicate that the microcontroller is about to be placed into sleep mode. We'll add the sleep library function call. Once this function is executed, the device will be placed into low power sleep mode and the CPU won't execute any further lines of code. So how does a wake up actually happen? Well, we've set up interrupts inside of the code configurator for the CLC peripheral, which just so happens to also trigger a wake up for the device. We'll need to enable interrupts by uncommenting these interrupt macros at the top of the main function. Once the device wakes up, it will execute the first line of code immediately after the sleep function. Here, we're gonna add a 50 millisecond delay and then print a message over the UART to indicate that the device is indeed awake. We'll add another delay for about 500 milliseconds before repeating the whole process and going back into sleep. And that's it, let's go ahead and stop the clock. If we open a terminal program like the one I have here and press the reset button on the express board, we should see the message that the device Device is being placed into sleep mode. Pressing the push button here connected to the RA5 pin has no effect. If we click inside of the terminal window and hit a keyboard key like enter, we can see that the computer is indeed transmitting something but still nothing is happening. However, if we hold and press the push button and then hit the enter key on the keyboard, the device wakes up, transmits the awake message, waits 500 milliseconds before going back to sleep. This confirms the condition that we set up inside of the CLC. For more project examples, to visit our wiki or to take part in the MP Lab Express forums, please visit mplabexpress.microchip.com. My name is Mark McComb. Thanks for watching.